All right, guys, here's some Copart Carnage. Bought this at the Copart auction. Uh, Volvo S40 2.4. It's a 2010 model. You might be thinking, where's the Carnage? Well, there it is. Now, I honestly don't know why I bought this thing. It's a uh, parts only, so uh, no title. Can't put it back on the road, and for good reason. I don't know if I'm going to try and build something out of this thing, strip it for parts, or what. I, I really, really don't know why I bought it. Uh, I just know that it seemed like a good idea at the time. But this thing got whacked pretty good. Now, I haven't, uh, haven't done a whole lot to it at all. Um, I, I took the hood off and the two fenders. And uh, really, all of that was just kind of hanging there. Oh, and the, the front right headlight. That one obviously was uh, decimated. Um, yeah, I mean, this thing is, it's obviously pretty shot. Um, really, what I'm, what I'm wondering and trying to get to, what I'm going to do first, is I want to see if the engine is damaged and uh, if it's any good. And then I'll make a decision from there. But, I mean, you guys, let me know what y'all think. I mean, there's the fenders. Should we build something out of this? We can't put it back on the road legally. So, we'd have to do like a dirt track car, which I'm sure it's not fast enough for that. And it's way too heavy, I'm sure. But... I don't know, dirt track car or some kind of rebody, throw a new body on top of it. Of course, who knows how, how good the frame and suspension is. Put down in the comments what y'all think. Strip it for parts. Build it out some kind of way. Let me know. All right, here it is with the core support out. Uh, now I'm gonna take the crash bar off. All right, here we are. We got the crash bar off and uh, peeled some stuff away and found exactly what I was scared of, but hope not to find. The transmission case. It's the transmission mount, but it was built into the case, so the transmission case is broken. And then, over here, which I kind of figured, but I was praying wouldn't be the case. Look at there. The oil pan is just disintegrated. It's, I mean, yeah. what happened is this air compressor was pushed into it so that's definitely going to put a damper on what we can do with this car um, if we can't I mean I'm not going to say we can't use the engine we could definitely put an oil pan on it make sure it didn't hit anything inside there which I doubt it did but I mean of course we'd check that out but we can put a new oil pan on it, get a new case for the transmission, but it just seems like that would be too much trouble for what it's worth. The alternator's all busted up, all the other pulleys are busted up. I mean, not much survived this front end, and I'll be honest, I didn't expect it to. I mean, this thing was smashed hard. I mean, you, you know, you wonder, is Volvo a safe car? Well, I don't know how bad this thing was hit, but I can tell you, I mean, it was, yeah, there's the, and 
intake is broken. I can tell you this thing was smashed hard, but to their account, you can't even tell it on the inside of the car. Now, I'm sure these people got pretty bad whiplash or something like that because um, it was slammed, but as far as any, you know, I mean, it, it didn't push the engine back much at all. Like, it, it's, it's probably three inches back, but there's a big old gap between the the engine and the firewall so um, yeah I think Volvo definitely earns their five star safety rating as the safest car on the road alright just want to do an update on the Volvo uh, this is where we're at tearing it apart got a pretty good bit done here um, got almost all the wiring harnesses, almost all of the wiring harness out. Um, I do have to disconnect the ABS sensors on both sides and then it runs back into the, uh, probably I guess the fuse panel right here, but that's where it runs back into the core. So I've got to find that, get that disconnected and then I'll have the wiring harness in one complete section uh, the engine transmission is ready to be pulled right now uh, it's only got the motor mounts holding it in and they're already loose so um, I'll be pulling that not today because it's already getting late but I'll be pulling that soon um, I haven't taken apart anything on the inside yet so it's, it's still complete as far as that. But I just wanted to, to get this stuff done first. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to strip this thing down, sell all the parts off of it. Uh, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to let the doors and the windows and the trunk, you know, the fenders in the front weren't any good. But if somebody wants to come cut the uh, rear quarters off I'll let them do that take the trunk panel so basically I'm going to be left with a real basic shell and you know I'm going to probably go ahead and sell all the suspension components and wheels and tires too because I just can't think of anything that I would be able to do with this car right? the title was parts only so I just don't see any point in trying to keep the thing uh, or you know trying to make anything out of it I just don't I maybe I'll keep the the chassis um, the unibody I guess um, maybe I'll keep that and see if I can do something with it or maybe I'll take it to the scrap yard I don't know uh, only time will tell I guess now I'm gonna get back on it keep stripping her down gonna go ahead and run but if y'all could, if you like any of this content, please like the video. Um, if you think anybody else would like it, please share the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we have all kinds of gig content coming out, videos once a week. And, uh, you know, we're trying to grow our channel. So we need as many subscribers as possible so we can keep getting more and better content to you. All right, guys. We appreciate all the support.